You can't these days explore new lands easily. There just aren't any new lands to explore. So you explore other areas like science. Curiosity and exploration, I think, are the essential starting points of innovation. And I'll often say, well, I wonder if we tried this, or I wonder if I did that. And I think just that questioning, that I wonder statement, is the best way to start out an innovation approach. For many things in life, good things happen when we take risk. Not every risk pays off, uh, so you have to be careful. There's no reward without risk, so uh, they come together. Experiments can be failures, but many times you learn from your failure. You can work for six months and make no progress at all, and then all of a sudden one day you, you make the right decision. Eventually you get to the point where you, you make the big breakthrough. When you're trying to decide how to approach a technical problem, you don't know. And so you start various um, efforts in parallel, and then you allocate the resources on the ones that are paying off the best. Usually, you don't discover something that is totally unexpected, because you must be thinking about the problem all the time, even in your sleep, and you keep thinking about it. And then somehow the door crack open, and then you, you find a way. And that's the discovery. I wonder if I can help make the environment a better place for humanity. I like working on problems. I'm a professor with wide interests. I'm happy to look at problems of climate change or machine learning, computer science and mathematics are the main tools I use for looking at those problems. I am the product of what people gave me. My parents, my teachers, they taught me how to learn. If you know how to learn, you can learn anything.